find this problem, we're going to integrate 1 plus the square root of x divided by x with respect to x. So to do this, we're going to start by breaking it up. So this is the integral of 1 over x plus, and then here we have the square root of x over x. So square root of x over x, and we have parentheses, and then the dx. And you can check this by just working backwards. We have a common denominator of x. So when you add these, you add just straight across in the numerator. 1 plus square root of x is 1 plus square root of x. Okay, so now to clean this up, what we want to do is think about how we can deal with this second term here, because 1 over x will integrate to the natural log of the absolute value of x. So to simplify this term, we'll start by writing the square root of x as x to the 1 half. This is the integral of 1 over x plus, and this is x, the 1 half over x, and then we have our dx. Okay, so this is going to be the integral of 1 over x. So what we do here is we subtract. Whenever you have um, division like this and the bases are the same, what you do is subtract the exponents. So 1 half minus 1 is negative 1 half. This is negative 1 half. And then dx. And so now we can go ahead and integrate. So we drop the integral sign. 1 over x becomes the natural log of the absolute value of x. And then x to the negative 1 half, basically you take 1 and you add it to this exponent here. So it'll be x to the 1 half, that's because negative 1 half plus 1 is 1 half, think of it as 2 halves, and then it'll make more sense. And then you divide by 1 half, and then we have the constant of integration, capital C. This becomes the natural log of the absolute value of x. Here we're dividing by 1 half, so basically it's multiplication by the reciprocal so it's 2 over 1 times this, which is basically just 2, x to the 1 half, plus our constant of integration, capital C. That would be the final answer. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.